Okay, my friends, this is going to sound really, really um, arrogant, but I think we have created astrophysical plasma here on Earth. Now, it says that accepted view of scientists that much of the baryonic matter in the universe exists in this state of astrophysical plasma. Well, what is a baryonic? Here it is right here. It's electrons and muons. All right, electrons and muons. The smallest particles that exist. And I can create them right here on Earth. They're not that hard to create. Okay, they said those astrophysical particles are these muons and electrons, the muon neutrinos, electron neutrinos. They're high voltage input into, it's called Cheryankov radiation. Let me show this, and I'll show you the ball. Well, this is the black ball, this is the white showers. And I don't mean to be obnoxious, but I just, you know, I, I just can't walk away from this. So, well, what they're doing now is not correct. This is the interference pattern. This is a single slit. The reason these are interference patterns is because all the white particles want to push the other white particles away. So as they come down, it's pushing away, pushing, so they just separate and they come down. And in between is where the black ones will start to fill in and they'll start to push in their way in and, and then rejoin to the white ones. And by the time they're coming down the road here, well, I'm not sure it here, but they they just start to dissipate. The white starts to become less white. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be absorbed into all of the other particles that it's bashing into, basically. And at some point, they'll just be less and less energetic. Okay, this is symmetry particle physics, Fermi Lab and SLAC publications. And they're talking about eight things you might not know about light. And here's one of them, that photons can produce shock waves in the water, air, like sonic booms. These photons produce shock waves in the air, much like a sonic boom. But the effect is to make more photons instead of sound. Absolutely, I can show that. Okay, my friends, this is Roger Mudd Fossil University, and today we're going to be talking about light and light through a venturi and how it accelerates. And you can see it compresses, accelerates, gets excited, flares out. And, I, and I'm going to try to make you understand what light really is, because it's not what they think it is. Light is back-to-back -back electrons. I'm going to show this in extremely great detail. I've done it many, many, many times. But Rodney keeps Rodney Warren is a guy that I've been working with for years and years on this now. And I got to be honest with you, I, it goes back so far that I'm forgetting the early part of what we did, and exactly how he had this set up. But I'm pretty sure this is pretty well. well I'm positive to be honest with you. But the the where he created the Venturi. That I'm not 100% certain of. And I'm not going to do these experiments. I'm done doing this. i got a lot of other things I'm going to do. And, but you can do this at home. Most people, or a lot of people, have the stuff right in their own house to do it right now. Zero expense. All you need is a construction laser. And here's one. Uh, where is it? I can't. I don't know where it is right now. But it's a Bosch just a little construction. Any any pulsed red laser will work. Or any any pulsed laser will work. And you need to put the venturi in front like this. Shine the laser through. When it hits the venturi, these huge balls, they're gigantic balls of magnetism, hit here, and they have to force through there. They can't, they're going to bump into this, and when they force through, they start to accelerate. You see, they start to glow, and then they really concuss with each other coming this way. Now, you see the difference in this here and up here? It's because it's spinning. This is coming at us. That's going away from us. It's spinning this way. I believe that's what I'm, that's my take on it. I know it's spinning. There's no question about that. And I, I, once it gets here, you can see it starts to overlap itself. Now, that's the way I'm taking it. Is it spinning this way? That would be a left-hand spin. I believe, and again, Rod Warren is the guy that did these experiments. So I'm not going to take credit for what he did, and I'm not going to try to 
explain 100% what he did, but I think I understand it. I believe, and again, I know I know 100% certain, this is a, a pulsed red laser. This, I believe, is one pulse. This down here, I believe, is another pulse, and this is going away from us as a pulse. So this one is in the mi middle between being created over here, and then it shows itself here, and then it starts to dissipate as it goes away. That's the way I'm taking it. Could be wrong. But I believe this is the initiation phase where it goes through the accelerator, which is the um, black spots. Now they show up as black on here. It, it, totally black. You see it? Totally black. So there's nothing being concussed here. Something is obstructing it. I mean, I know that he's got some kind of venturi there. And again, I can't take credit for Rob, what he's doing. And I can't exactly 100% explain it, but, and this is what he does to me. <laughs> it's fun. It really is fun, i got to be honest with you. He just, he's not a, 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 an atomic physicist or anything. He doesn't, this I don't think really excites him, this part of it. He's into the, the experiments and trying to see if he can find things inside the light nobody's ever found. And he certainly has. Now, am I right? I don't know. But I can tell you what, if you look at this real carefully, I can see, I think every one of these is an actual electron. And as it came through, of course, these don't apply right now. As it came through, it accelerates out and then they start to slow down. You see, here they're just zzzz. That's doing that. Now I'll show you that. I, I think I can show you all of this in very, very great detail. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But why not look at it? Why not understand it? And it, this shows how the interference patterns come from behind. Every electron wants to stay away from each other's electron because they, they push to shove. That's why you set up these interference patterns. Some of them are coming over this way, so they're going to come over the top of the interference. Some of them are going underneath the bottom and swishing out that way. And they're going to, that's why you have the interference patterns. We're going to see it all. All right, here's another one from Rod. I believe this is through glass. And you can see the ripple. You see the bump? Like as the particle comes through here. Well, the particle itself creates this field around it. That's why all of these little things are glowing all the way around that field. The particle is the really impactor. That's why it's so brilliant right where the particle is. But the particle is surrounded by a region of magnetism which is not as, as, as interactive as the particle. So it's a wave created by a particle. That's why they say it acts like a wave, it acts like a particle. Well, it's a wave. Everything's got to get out of the way because it controls a big magnetic region. But the particle is a little bitty part inside. That's why we're seeing it really, really impacting. So there's not, not, not a whole back to mystery here. But these are the pulses. Boop, 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 boop. All right, this is all it is, is the particles spin like this, and they're all over the place. And sooner or later, most of them go through the center, but the ones that less and less and less come out here. But you can see, these are all pushing away from each other. They're all pushing away from each other. That is a drill bit. Spin, 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 spin. That's all they do. Spin, spin, spin. Right hand spin. So that's red pulsed laser, and now it's accelerating because we're running it into a Venturi. Right there, that's the Venturi. I showed this, or I have, will show it, or what the hell, I'll show it now. <laughs> that's the red laser, pulse, 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 we just saw. There's the acceleration we are seeing. There's the explosion we will see. There is the white concussive explosive matter which is the electron showers and these are the muons which are the black balls that roll around the outside. We will also see the photons appear just prior to the explosiveness and an electron is only half a photon and the concussive white part shows up in the middle and the black ball rolls around the outside. So here we go. We had the wave, 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 acceleration, particle pulling itself right out of the wave particle con concussing, and right here you're going to see black ball and white balls attached together. And here's what they are. You see them? Now, back-to-back -back electrons. 
when that hits the the Venturi, it's all games off. Everything falls apart. They completely compress and um, fall apart. I'll show you that in a second. And then there's some new particles that nobody knows about. Well, that's the only one I know about. That's a reverse spinner, I think. And this shows that light is is has sped up here and is slowing down there, or is sped up here and slowing down here. I'm not sure which, to be perfectly honest with you. This seems to be going faster because they're, they're closer together, or is it, was it faster here and compressing and, and it's, uh, I, 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 this is where it gets a little tricky. Is this, is this more energy than that? I don't know. This is something that, you know, it seems to be glowing more down here than up here, but is it because it's spread out? Or is it be, I just, this is where you get real tricky. There's a lot to look into. I can't look into all this stuff, but I can tell you what, they do separate, no question whatsoever. And that right there is the muon, and that is the electron showers. It's just it's so obvious. That was the particle, the back-to-back -back particle looked just like this. Boom! I can't get through the Venturi, so well, I'm leaving. The black one says, I'm out of here. Comes back around, it joins back in down here. That is complete separation of powers. 100% separation, no question whatsoever, the black balls are here. And the black balls don't mind being touching each other. The white ones want to get away, that's what creates all this pattern. And it's a spinning particle, spins like this. It goes off to that side sometimes, sometimes it comes over the top and goes this way. So it's under, out that way, over this way, comes this way. Most goes through the center. But the black balls want to be back in. Black balls are gravity. Now again, I've shown this over and over and over. I know people are starting to get mad because I keep showing the same things. But I'm, sooner or later, somebody is going to pay attention to this. And at that point, we're going to get somewhere. That's all I can say. All right, these are the Russians in space doing experiments with plasma. And plasma, we either talked about it or we will talk about it in this next video because it gets pretty deep. Now, I'm going to just let this run as I'm talking. I, I think I have the sound off, which I do, and I have it running very slowly. Now, they're going to show the interaction with four cameras on particles of plasma and, and microns. Now, you actually see them doing all these things at the same time this on its wire is charging and discharging. So it'll all of a sudden collapse and you'll see different things happen. Now, I'm going to get deep into this in the next video uh, because it's just too much to go over in one video. But it, it, it gets extremely interesting. And out here, somewhere right here, I will actually be able to show you the crystal lattice of molecules in space. You see these ones that are solid, 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 solid. Now, they are, well, I'll explain it to you in the next video because it gets real interesting. But you, you'll actually see the electrons, the excess electrons. You see how big that is and how big that is? Watch. You'll see, you see the excess electrons bouncing around inside there. That's heat. That's all it is is heat. I get carried away. <laughs> but we're going to go into that next video, and it's going to be really interesting. If you're interested in this stuff, uh, other than that, you'd probably be bored. But uh, I find it exciting because this is the stuff they didn't realize. They didn't, they, you can't see this on Earth. And, you know, if you're going to be attacking me for talking about space, please don't do that. It's really, really, really tiring. Anyway. I, uh, and it's really kind of nasty to attack me for doing good research because you don't believe that the space station exists or the Earth is round. It's really, it's, it's been a real, real sore spot in my research. It really has. So anyway, uh, next video coming up will be part two. I love you all. Happy New Year.